Hello everyone! I have an unboxing for you here. This is from Dreamer Designs. This kit came in a little bit different looking from their average box, but it does have a handle on it. It does have how diamond painting works on the back. It has the kit contents, has their features, and why diamond paint? Because it reduces stress and anxiety, it improves your focus, it helps your fine motor skills, and it increases your social circle, as well as helps to spark creativity. These things are all true for sure. If any of you out there are diamond painters, then you know what I mean. Let's go ahead and open this up. You guys want to know what it is? Well, the thing about this kit is it is no longer purchasable from Dreamer Designs. They had some legal issues, but here is the kit. Luna Lovegood, legally licensed from Curtis Reykjavich. The design size is 60 by 80 centimeters, which is 23.6 inches by 31.5 inches. I am so excited that I was able to get this kit, even though they are no longer selling it. I am a pretty big Harry Potter fan, so I missed this the first time around, but the second time, you better believe I snatched it up as fast as I could. Their, bat, their kit comes in a nice bag. You can use that for storage. You can use it for something else. There's a lot of different things you can use that for. That's pretty nice. Inside you have a tool kit. This pouch is magically soft. Let me tell you what. Drills, Luna Love Good, two of two. Luna Love Good, two of one. Set that aside. This is the canvas, nice and wrapped in their beautiful purple bow. Let's go ahead and look at the tool kit. Even though I know what to expect with each of these by now, I like to see what's inside because you just see, you never know. So you have bags. I like that they have their bags in a bag so they're not flopping out all over the place when you open it up. There is a set of tweezers with their branded logo on it. This feels a little more embossed than usual so that's kind of nice they have a new kind of a protector on there still very sharp they do feel like they have a little bit sort of a different pressure on it than the other ones I'll have to pull out another pair and look at them side by side see if I notice a difference you have your two pins, single placers, one regular, one for their special A, B drills. I did start using this on my last diamond painting, and let me tell you, these do work really well. The inside is thinner than the inside of the regular ones. You can't tell too much, but it, it 
because it holds less wax, it doesn't get as much wax around the surface of the diamonds. So it picks, it, it picks up those ABs really well without sticking on there. We have two diamond painting trays, two purple grips, a three placer. For some reason, my camera is not really wanting to focus at all. We have a straightener, had a straightener. Yeah, look, confetti party, let's just throw everything. Okay, um, I think there's another multi-placer in here somewhere. Yeah, there is. Okay, this I believe is like a seven placer. And you have two branded pots of wax. That is the toolkit. And these little pouches, they're so fun just to touch. They're so soft. Um, you can use those for a ton of things. There's a ton of things you can use those for. Okay, uh, let's see. What are we going to do next? Let's look at the canvas. It feels so magic and royal getting into these. Ooh. Look at all those pretty purples. The drill field is nice and clear. I'm going to roll this backwards so that it will lay flat a little bit faster so that I can show you guys. Now, normally when you unroll these, if you are not in a hurry, you can just open it up, lay it flat. Within a little bit of time, it will flatten itself out. Wrapped up inside of this kit, we have a few things that are coming out. I'll go over those in a minute. And this one is wrapped up really, really seriously. Okay, so we have a foam roller in there for added protection. We have instructions for those of you who may be getting a kit and haven't seen it before. Not sure how to diamond paint. Tells you all you got to know to do that. On this side, it talks about joining their dreamer community. Um, gives their social media information. Here is a sticker sheet with all the symbols, the name of the piece up here at the top, and then all of the symbols. That one might be a little bit difficult to read. I'm going to look at the canvas, see if we see if we notice that it's a little blue triangle. 58 colors, you guys, and what? Five ABs. Well, we are, we are talking the wizarding world here, so it's got to be extra dazzly. I'm trying to see if I can look off the bat and see any of the those one particulars. Here I can see how this might be confusing. You have two white symbols on a blue background. They're not, the symbols aren't identical, but they're similar enough that if you're not paying a lot of attention, that might end up getting you confused. But they are pretty clear. I mean, you can see what they say. Okay, let's look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there is those triangles that I was talking about. You can tell what they are. They're not as clear as some of like these other symbols over here. I am so excited to do this, you guys. I'm ha so happy that I got this. Like I said, I'm a Harry Potter fan. Okay, down at the bottom of this canvas, you have paint with passion. As you can see all along the edge, they have a little bit of a border. 
outside of the diamond paint outside of the diamond painting field i really like that bottom right hand corner you have dreamer designs bottom left hand corner you have their lifetime warranty information you have their dmc codes here on the bottom left on this piece and then oops sorry guys man i keep bumping you all over and you know what else i noticed is that sometimes I have a hard time remembering that I turn the videos when I'm recording them so I'm sorry if parts of this video have been sideways okay in the upper right hand corner you have another code with their with them in numerical order you have the symbol number the symbol you have the dmc number and then in the upper right hand corner you have their social media information and in the left hand corner you have a thumbnail of the image the title luna lovegood legally licensed from curtis reykovich design size Ooh, you guys this is cool I don't think I can get her all in one one shot but there she is first things I notice about this painting you have her beautiful blonde um, eccentric looking hair one of the things that I really appreciate about Luna Lovegood is her quirky attitude um, I love her outfit here that is gorgeous she has her beetle ring. She has her copy of The Quibbler, which is a wizarding magazine, and it looks like Harry Potter. This is the one with Harry Potter in it. Her necklace has a butterbeer on it. She has her dirigible plum earrings, her specter specs. So cool. Okay, let's take a look at the drills. I'm a little bit hyper in this video because I'm so excited to have this kit, you guys. So I'm sorry, I'll try to calm down. Typically my nature is more of a calm, relaxing sort of a thing, especially, you know, when um, doing an unboxing or some of my videos, I'm more on the mellower end of things. But I'm feeling really hyper about this because I'm so, I'm so excited. Ooh, there's an AB. That's a very pretty blue. Let me know in the comments down below whether you guys prefer a more energetic, upbeat type of video or whether you like it to be more calm and mellow. Everybody's different. Maybe I'll start trying to mix it up more. I don't know. Okay, so on the Dreamer Designs drill packages, you have their lo their name, the number that the drills are in, the DMC number, they're pretty pink, that is actually like a dark brown, another brown, two of those greens, a brown, ooh, there's a pretty blue and a blue, green and a gray. Pink. That's a dark red. Now all of these that I'm looking at, the drills look very nice, very high quality. I have completed One Dreamer Designs canvas. It is their Lucky Koi canvas. I love it. I loved working on it. Now the background has a lot of black and purples, so this 550, oh you guys, I just realized 
there's four 550s. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of that in the background. So if you like 550, I do. I love all the colors. If you like 550 and this is your, your, your style, keep an eye out. You never know. I mean, just because you can't buy the canvas from Dreamer Designs anymore doesn't mean you won't find it somewhere along the way. Maybe somebody will be de-stashing de it. Maybe there's a lot of three, there's a couple bags of 327 there. Uh, maybe somebody will be de-stashing it. Maybe, you know, who knows? Who knows? So don't give up hope. You never know. I thought I was not going to get this canvas again, but I did. Okay, we have... Whoa, okay. There was a lot of uh, 550s, but there are one, two, three, four, five, three tens. Six? Six three tens. Counting skills. I need to work on that. 209, another pretty purple. Yeah, so pretty, you guys. I'm hoping there will be an event that comes up pretty soon that I'll be able to do this for. I have no idea what it would be. I've been reading through the Harry Potter books again lately. I like to listen to audiobooks while I'm diamond painting. And I've been re-listening to Harry Potter books. Such great, such great books. Um, check that out if you haven't read it. If any of you guys have read it, let me know what you think. Are there any Harry Potter fans out there? Okay, here's another AB. It's white. Here's a yellow AB. A green. And a purple. So now I'm going to put these away. These away and look at where those ABs go. So as I was saying, guys... What was I saying? Oh, I've been listening to the Harry Potter books. Let me know what your guys' favorite is. Okay, so for the ABs, we have the white one is an O. So we'll start with that. We have some in the Quibbler magazine here. On the picture, I did notice by the way, this guy's work, artwork, if you haven't um, seen any of his other artwork, check him out. His, his, he's a fabulous artist. Okay, so her wand here is glowing a little bit, which is casting the light on the magazine, as well as her face. You can kind of see it in this picture here. So I think that's why the magazine is glowing here. I mean, it's going to kind of look like it's glowing because it has those ABs in it. Her Spectre Specs have the white ABs as well as here in her eyes. The next color is, is the yellow AB, which is a K. That's all in her hair. Yep, I'd see that right away. That's all in her hair. The green AB is a little upward. Okay, there is some in, there's some in this button here. That's really cool. There's some in her ribbon that's tying her hair back. And there's some in the leaf of the dirigible plum. And there's some in her specter specs up there too. All right, the pink is a T and the blue is a six. So for the pink, some of the T here in her clothes. Here, here, here. So the pink one is scattered through our clothes. Oh, there's some here on the side of her face. Is that a T or seven? Oh no, those are sevens. Never mind. There are some here on the ends of her specter specs. Are there any on this side? No, I just see a few on this right here. I'm looking. This is one of my favorite parts of doing the unboxings is kind of like search and find where are the ABs. 
Okay, so it's not on her face either. Those are sevens. That's another thing. The seven here is going to be pretty easily confused with the T here. So if you are doing this kit, be careful for that. Oh, there's, no, it's a seven again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, moving on to the six. Okay, the blue ABs, there's gonna be some down here, here. There's a little bit in her hand over here. So up here along this, her wand, which is glowing. There's some here and around the bottom of her face. That's weird. Um, there's some here. So I get the effect, like it's because her wand is glowing and it's lighting up these spots. There's a few in her necklace, her butterbeer necklace. But I, I don't know. This may be one of those that has some alterations made because my concern is that with those glowing here, it's gonna make her kind of look like she has a beard. We'll see what it looks like when it's all done. Cause if it if it stands out, it's not gonna look good. But I do notice that they had that they they charted this pretty well. Otherwise, with the sixes kind of scattering upwards from the wand, so it may look okay. I'm not sure. But anyways, this is Luna Love Good by Curtis Reykjavik. Beautiful, beautiful painting. I really am looking forward to doing this one, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you have anything to say about this. I'd love to hear it. Give me your Harry Potter fan statements. And we'll talk next time, guys. Bye.